Welcome to my 1999 Jeep Cherokee under the hood video. Let's start from the front. This vehicle has no air conditioning or heater. All of the heater hoses have been removed. It's a custom water neck. The CTS sensor has been relocated to the upper radiator hose between the two hose clamps there on the left. I'm running a 195 thermostat. If we peek down here, you can see the idler air pulley. It's a non-air conditioning serpentine belt. I do not run a mechanical fan. I have two electric fans. There's the original stock fan. And the secondary fan. They're both on switches and relays, of course. The upper radiator hose. Okay, we're moving over here to the driver's side and you can see the twin three-quarter inch bore master cylinders. There are manual brakes. There's no longer a power brake unit. Everything has stainless steel braided fuel lines. I'm sorry, stainless steel braided lines on the brakes. There's the T-junction for the brakes. The mechanical fuel pressure gauge when you're working on the engine it's a great idea to have that right under the hood and uh, that comes down and it uh, goes right into the Schrader valve on the fuel fuel rail good shot of the Mustang 5 liter fuel injectors they were not a direct swap I had to solder the connectors on there is a throttle spring additional throttle spring to keep the throttle tight and you know that way you're not going over bumps and accidentally giving a little bit throttle more than it needs to be the boot for the air intake system coming off the throttle body it runs across the top of the, the valve cover on a support bracket there which is bolted down to the valve cover kind of dives down into a bulkhead unit where the original fan blower was. Right there on the right you can see the three uh, breather valves, breather hoses from the front chunk transmission and transfer case. They go through the firewall. Both the air cleaner and all of the breather valves are inside at the passenger footwell. Here you can see in the cowl area the PCV and CCV catch can. There's the hoses as they come out. And then pass down the valve cover. The center hood pin. And of course, there's one on each corner in the front. There's a total of five hood pins, three across the front, and two in the back. Here's a view of the rear hood pins. They mount where the original hood hinge bolts were, and also one of the fender bolts. It's all custom work there. The wire harness has been completely gutted. There's nothing in the wire harness that does not need to be there, from air conditioning to radio and everything in between. It only needs, it only has what it needs. You can see a shot of the ECU right there. On the passenger, I'm sorry, on the driver's side now, you see the intake. It has been welded up. There's no longer any pull from the EGR or brake booster. This is the Jeepers and Creepers 62 millimeter 
throttle body CNC out of a solid piece of aluminum. You can see the throttle spring there. Another shot of the fuel injectors from the Mustang 5 liter. There's a EGI fitting. I'm sorry, an EFI fitting goes to a half inch inside diameter stainless steel braided fuel line. It runs to the back. There's an inline filter. There's the brown dog motor mounts. Great shot of the welded up intake right there. Professionally done. I'm running a Gibson stainless steel headers and a Flowmaster 40 series muffler with no catalytic converter. You can see both wheel wells are pretty clear. The batteries have been removed and relocated in the back. There's the overflow catch can for the radiator. It's a three row radiator. Power steering cooler lines, you can see them running right through there. Like I said, the batteries have been relocated in the back now, and I'm running one aught gable, cable all throughout the vehicle. Here's a Napa Wix 1515 oil filter and a sandwich style adapter to one half inch inside diameter stainless steel braided oil cooler lines that run up to the front to the cooler the power distribution block there and two 30 amp relays for the fans it's a powermate wrangler 175 amp alternator one aught cable running to a 100 amp fuse for the alternator you can see the cts sensor right there between the two hose clamps I'm running a 195 thermostat. And their PCV and CCV hoses as they run across the valve cover there. Moving to the front of the vehicle now, you'll be able to see the coolers that I run. This is the oil cooler. It's got two custom mounts that have been milled out of the center so that the air passes directly through them. They are mounted to the cross member, the subframe cross member, rather than directly to the radiator. That allows air to pass behind the cooler much better approach that way and on the driver's side you'll see the power steering cooler it's a four row cooler with rubber hoses and that's about it appreciate you watching